Okay, now I want to talk a little about combining like terms. Sometimes when we have expressions like the one you see right here, we have a couple terms that we can actually put together to simplify this expression. So first thing we want to look for is what looks the same. I want to look at do I have numbers that are the same? Do I have x values the same? So if I'm looking first, right off the bat I see I have 2x right here and 1x right here. That tells me I can combine those. So what I'm going to do off to the side is I'm going to say alright, I have 2x and I'm going to go ahead and say I have 1x right there. And now since these are both positives, 2 plus 1 is going to give me a total of 3x, right? So I can combine these together for 3x. Then if I look over to the side, this one's arranged really nicely, that I also see I have a negative 3. Remember, if you're kind of looking at the box in front, that subtraction sign is going to tell you that it's a negative. And I have a positive 7. Okay, so I'm going to set this up on the side as well, and I'm going to say, all right, I had negative 3 and positive 7. Now, if you can't add it up like that, it may help you to draw out the models for it, right? If I have three negatives and I have 4, 5, 6, 7 positives, remember we want to look for what makes our zero pairs. 1, 2, 3 zero pairs, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4 positives left. So what that tells me is that these two integers right here are going to come out to be a positive 4, which is going to look like 3x plus 4, and that's what we get. Now, sometimes it's not going to be that easy. Sometimes they're going to mess them around and they're not going to be right next to each other, so we may have something that looks like this. Say negative 6x plus 8 minus x plus 9. Right, So now not everything's all together, but that's okay. We're still going to do the same process. First thing we want to look for, what do I have in common? And I'm going to look for my x's. So I have negative 6x, and I also have a negative x. Again, remember, I can put a box around the sign that's in front of it, and that's going to tell me if it's positive or negative. So I'm going to come off to the side, and I have negative 6x, and I have negative 1x. Remember, if there's no number right here, in front of that x, it's a 1. So now this one's nice and easy. I have six negatives. I have one more negative. That's going to take me to negative 7x. So these two x's come and are going to give me negative 7x. Now I want to look at what I have left. I have a positive 8 and a positive 9. Great, that's just 8 plus 9, right? Positive 8, positive 9. We add those together for 17 and that's still going to say positive. Since that's a positive 17, we're going to have plus 17. Okay, so there's our combining like terms. Now, it should be noted that just because it, there's an x there doesn't mean we combine them. So if I have negative 2x plus 3x squared, I can't combine these x's because this is a regular x and this is an x squared, right? So they have to look exactly the same. And that's your basics on combining like terms.